Okay? Our two main power stations, one is here, Wailo, and the other is here, Nandari Vatu. These are the two hydro power stations, right? And how do they supply power? That's the transmission line going to the Vunda to supply this western area, right? And this is the one that comes to Suva, that supplies the central division, okay? Now, if anything happens to these lines, your power supply is gone because your major sources are down. See, both these power sources will not be able to transmit power should there be a problem on this line or on this line, okay? So what happened was that Friday afternoon when we first lost power, I'm saying prior to Cyclone Sarai really coming in, you know what I'm saying? Because when there was substantial rain and all. Because there was a landslide, you know, in the hills which we detected today, as a result of that landslide, we lost that line, okay? That means that line went out of operation. That means all this power that was going to the west went away. As a result, when all that power can't go to the west, then all that power started coming to silver. Now, what happens then is this, the demand is less and the supply is more. Even then you have a power problem. You know, like the generators, if, if, if they're all running, but the demand is not there, then also they become excited and say, what's happening? And they go out of operation. It's called overspeed or over frequency. I don't get too technical, but you understand. Same thing with the reverse side. If the demand is very high and the supply is too little, then all, that's obvious to understand. Right. Then you won't be able to meet the demand. And the generators will say, we are overloaded, we're getting out. Okay? So we had a problem on this line just that, that first outage, remember that happened. Now when that happened, obviously we tried to restore the power supply. You understand? Yes. When we started to restore the power supply, this line came in for a short while and tripped again. Which means, which means, when I say trip means it goes out of operation. Why was it going out of operation? Because the situation was such that as a result of that landslide, you know, the wire, right, had come about three meters away from the cliff, which is ground. So if that touches that ground, it will trip, okay? And because of the wings, occasionally it was dangling. You know what, it was a big span like this. So it dangle and it hit the cliff. As it hits the cliff, it's called grounding, so it goes off. So that was those interruptions that were happening all that, okay? Because of inclement weather conditions and because of that land slippage. That land slippage we detected today. Because remember, even after the cyclone, when we started to restore power, we were able to run these stations, get this line on, and get power into the central division. And there's no limiting of power here. You understand what I'm saying? We're not sharing power or sharing power here. Here, because we could not get this line back on again, we had to depend on all our diesel stations that are here to supply the power. Now, all these diesel stations cannot meet the total demand of the Western Division, okay? Now, of course, the load wasn't or the demand wasn't there because we're still checking the power lines that takes the power to your homes. You know, the local distribution lines, we call them. Because if those distribution lines are also damaged, then it's a hazard. You can't switch on the power. The biggest worry that we have when we restore power supply is this, that we need to inspect the entire power system Right? After a cyclone, see, I'll tell you what really happened in that cyclone. At about 8.30, finally, finally at 8.30, see, so the Western Division went off because of this line. Okay? The Central Division was still getting power supply. Suva was still on till about 8, 8.30 parts. Then what happened was, um, our key power station, which is called, people sometimes say, Monasabu or Wailoa, eh? <coughs> this power station, you know, is next to a river. So one after using water to generate electricity, then it pumps out that water into the river. Because the water has to go somewhere, okay? And we call it the tail race. So you, if you go there, you can see it's like a big tunnel, you know? And it's pumping out the water after generating electricity into the river. Now because as, as the rain, you know, the rain had started, by the late afternoon, the rain had started in the Western Division at least. 
So the water level in Wailoa River came up. And supposedly this is the tail race, which is pumping out the water. This level came up. It came up here. How could we pump out water when the water started entering from the river? I see. Now when the, when, when the water got to the tail race and it was going to come in, then we had to switch off the power station. That was the second. That was at Friday night. That sense. That's at about 8, 8.28 30. Yes, yes. So they called me and said that the water level in Wailoa River has come to the tail race. And now that's a hazardous situation. You know what it means? It means if you generate, then you're trying to pump out water at the same time the water is coming in. You can't, can't have it. So, I had no option but to say, all right, close the power station. Now, this is what happens. So, we closed the power station and then we went through the entire cycle, right? For the whole of Friday night, literally, till early morning, right? Now, when you get up early morning, what generally people think is this. You have switched it off. I'm going to switch it on. It doesn't work like that. You know why? Because you don't know what Cyclone has done to your infrastructure. Do you know? Not exactly. No, you don't know. Do you know which power line is broken, where it's dangling in there? Do you know? Supposingly, I switched on all the lines. If there is a fault, the line will trip. Means it goes, trip in our language is going out of operation. But supposingly, if I switch on certain power lines, and there's a power line which is dangling in the air, it's my phone, I'm going to put it up. Where is it going? Where is it going?